can it be? I make the same mistakes time after time. The cycle turns right back again. I try to move on, but I'm drawn to the same old game. I cling to these roots to keep me standing, but I'm told to accept this. That's part of life, it's how it is. But reasoning tells me It's not meant to be this way A God who can help me To find where this is coming from I refuse to do nothing I need to see a change Whatever it takes same mistakes time after time the cycle turns us back again I try to move on but I'm drawn to the same again I cling to this to keep me standing but I'm told to accept this as part of life is how it is but reason tells me it's not meant to be this way a God who can help me Find where this is coming from. I refuse to do nothing. I need to see a change, whatever it takes. I'll cut up this root so I turn me. I cannot stay the same. I need to start all over again Whatever it is I'll cut out this root So I determine I cannot stay the same My name is Dan from Tobago, and we attend the Universal Church in Tobago. This is my wife, Mina. And before we attend the Universal Church in Tobago, my life was in a mess. From small, I started to drink this alcohol, and then I, I couldn't continue. I, I couldn't stop it. 
it more gradually more um, stronger to get in. The addiction getting very, very stronger day by day. It gain, instead of I used to drink one drink a day, two drink, then three drink, then from the bottle. When my wife started to speak to me about I drinking too much alcohol, about the wrong things I doing, we have lots of quarrel. And after the quarrel lead us to plenty of physical fights. Happen to knife and cutlass. Sometimes I want to kill. Sometimes she pick up a knife to, because of rage. To defend herself, sometimes she pick up something to hit me down too. Before we came to the Universal Church, because of the addiction of my husband and he always used to drink and misbehave and take home and my whole life was in a terrible mess. There's times I couldn't cope it and you know, you want to live a peaceful life, but I was a person who always had the faith and always praying for God to change his life every day, every day, every day. And um, as years go by, I always had feel like I could go away, but I never go away. The addiction was having me so bad that I used to credit, I was, a ben, I was a vendor, and I used to credit goods. When I credit the goods, I hope people have lots of money. And I don't study to pay them any money. They get down and call me. I study to, to be in the addiction with the alcohol. I don't study to pay them any money. That makes lots of problems with them. Sometimes I feel to kill them like they're dead because I don't have no money to pay them. The addiction caused me, my landlord, I just pay $1,000 a month rent. And I just work over $30,000, $50,000 per month. And I cannot afford to pay $1,000. The landlord had to call with me, want to put me out and tell me and give me notice, want to give me notice to move out. My life, the situation in my life was a mess. And it, I used to have to drink and start to drink every morning that I get up to get over that problem and it will never get over. I take a drink and start to drink wholly. And the problem, I feel so very nice. When I sober again, it's a problem. I drink again and the problem still in me and, and building up and growing and growing and growing every day.
decide someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Because I won't be my desire Goodbye pleasures and sin I stay no longer with you I made up my mind Go that way the rest of my life I made up my mind Go that way the rest of my life I got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday I got my mind made up One day at my workplace in, in town, a friend come by me in my workplace and he was talking to me. And he told me he going to the Universal Church. I was drinking, I have a beer in my hand, I have a cigarette in my hand. And I was listening to him because I, I feel so shocked that he tell me he going to church. And his problem was like my problem because we was friends. Happened so the Friday morning, I didn't know that there was a deliverance day because I, ne I didn't know and I, I never went to the Universal Church. When I reached there, it was before seven, the service start. I walk inside there, I was already drunk with alcohol. The first day I ever went to the Universal Church. The pastor asked me, the first time you come to the church, I said, first time in life I ever go to a church. It's the first time I say, yeah. You say you're drinking? I say, yeah. You say you're smoking? I say, yeah. I couldn't have lied because everything was showing on me. You've seen everything on me. Until one day, about a week and a half, something told me enough is enough. And I started to pray to God. And I said, God, enough is enough. I said, Lord Jesus, I don't know exactly what to do. I'm so confused now. I go into the church and I continue drinking all this rum, smoking all this cigarettes, nothing changed in my life. I said, Lord Jesus, I need a change in my life. And I started, I started to talk to God. I started to pray to God and, and tried to talk to him just so I'm speaking here. I just started to talk to God. I said, God, I need a change in my life. The next day I wake up, I told my wife, I stopped drinking alcohol. She would look at me and she started to laugh and tell me she cannot believe. I said, yes. I said, that is the end of it. She didn't believe. And I tell her, go in the bedroom, go in the kitchen, all over where I have the room hiding. I tell her, go and bring them out. I make sure open all. She asked me what to do. I tell her, open it all and throw it down inside the sink. And from since that day, that's the end of all the alcohol, all the addiction, all everything just disappeared from my life. From the uh, from the cigarette, alcohol, the cigarette, and then after that, everything just started to disappear from my life. There is a longing. Take me deeper, 
seek your faith Draw by the Spirit To the promise of your grace My heart is found in you I hope that we abide In your presence Everything started to change gradually, but slowly. Then the campaign of Israel come across, and I took part in the campaign of Israel, and I was very down. My business was low. Coming to the Christmas, my business was very low, and I took part of the campaign. As it, it come in, the door started to open in, in plenty ways. You see my door? It, it started to open in different ways. Doors started to open for me. 2013, I built one apartment. Everything started to grow and multiply in my life. 2013, I built a next apartment. 2014, I built a next apartment. Uh, 2015, I built a next apartment. And 2015, I did make a project that will make a completion of everything. So 2015, thank God, is everything the yard, the fence, the roof, everything that complete. How you see it as it is here, it wasn't like this. And everything is completed. We don't owe no one, no one no money, that we borrow money to do this, borrow money to do that. We don't, I never go to the bank to borrow no money, to do anything, any completion of it. So it's a start nothing, it's everything that I do on my own, that I did. I used to pay rent, now I have three apartment renting. I thank God today that we have a blessed home and a peaceful home. That he changed so much that people can hardly believe. Even I can believe. But today everybody just look at him now and know where he come from to now. And they always say, Mina, you really hold up and you really take a long time to stay there in your life. And today I can tell the world that I have a peaceful home, a loving husband and we enjoy what we have. We want to thank God for giving us our blessing. And you know, what we have now is our own. And I want to tell the people out there who are looking at this, you know, all these things happen to me. A lot of you must be noticed, but um, you too can change. You don't have to think twice you're going to do suicide or leave your husband. But you know, you can't give up on the faith. You have to hold on and ask God. And with prayers and with God, there is a lot of things out there could happen. And a lot of things that happen to us can happen to you too.
Oh uh-huh. 